Hey everybody, it's Tef. Today I'm gonna to show you how to patch a nail that is ripping like my thumbnail right here. As you can see, that is far enough down on my nail plate that if I were to try to cut that off or if it rips entirely, it's going to be very, very painful. Not to mention that it's pretty much impossible for me to cut the rest of the nails to match. So today I'm gonna to patch it, which will hopefully prevent the nail from ripping further and allow it to grow out. If your nail breaks off entirely, this is not a good solution for you. I'd suggest gluing a fake nail on to match it with the rest of your nails or cutting the rest of your nails to match. If your nails peel or chip a lot, I'd suggest a strengthening base coat, which I'm actually also going to use. The one I like using is the Orly Nail Defense Base Coat. But once I've patched my nail with all of the things right here, I'll be able to do my normal manicure and it will be pretty well disguised. These are all the supplies I'm going to be using. First off, I have a tea bag. This is what I'm going to make into the actual nail patch and you can use any tea bag you want. I'm using nail glue to glue said patch on. You can also use super glue. I've done this successfully many a time. Optional, I have a pair of tweezers to help me maneuver the patch. I might or might not end up using those. And then I have both a pair of big scissors and small scissors. You can really use one or the other, but I'm gonna be using the big ones to cut open the tea bag and probably the small ones to create the actual patch. I'm opening my tea bag over a bowl to catch the tea as it comes out so I can brew it later. You can also just throw this tea away. It's not needed. As I said, all we need is the bag itself. I'm just gonna cut the tea bag open at the top and then pour all of the tea into the bowl. Obviously, you could just do this over the garbage if you wanted, but I'm just using the bowl for simplicity's sake. So get as much of that tea out as you can, and then if your tea bag is um, fused together like this one is, just go ahead and cut it down the center. So you get one big piece of tea bag, and you can actually use this for several patches. You can just keep it around and cut into it when you need it. So obviously the tea bag is much bigger than the rip in my nail, so I need to cut it down to size. I'm using the big scissors to start with, though you definitely could use nail scissors. And I'm just starting out by cutting a little square in my tea bag, pushing that off to the side. And now I'm going to be working with this piece of tea bag to further shape the patch. I'm starting out by holding it up to my nail and seeing how much I still have to trim. And obviously that is still huge. So I'm just gonna be taking my nail scissors and starting trimming it down. At first it's going to be very rough and then hopefully I'll get a patch that is a lot more fitted later. Also keep in mind that nail scissors have that curved end which helps you shape the nail but can also help you shape your patch. So I'm just taking off little bits at a time. Obviously if you take too much off you can just cut another patch out of your tea bag, but it's kind of frustrating to have to start over and over and over again. So I just like to cut little bits off and then measure it up against my nail. That's still way too long. One thing to keep in mind with this patch is that your nail is not going to be as strong as it was if it wasn't ripping, so you still need to be careful. This just helps the nail from ripping further. And that size looks really good, so let's move on to the next step. Next I'm gonna be using my nail glue, my tweezers, and of course that tiny little patch that I just cut. So first I'm going to be taking my nail glue, and if you have brush on nail glue, it can be a little bit easier. And I'm just going to apply that to the nail right over the rip. This is the base of the whole thing. Now I'm gonna take my tweezers and pick up my patch. And you wanna make sure that the patch lines up with the side of your nail as well as possible. Typically, it just needs to be straight. And carefully put it down. There we go, that's what I wanted. Use tweezers you don't care about too much, by the way. I have another one, for instance, that I use to pluck my eyebrows. These are kind of my bad tweezers. So I'm just gonna lay that nail patch down, and now I'm going to give the glue a little bit of time to dry. I waited maybe three to five minutes, so I'm just gonna put another layer of nail glue on for a little bit more stability. And you could really be done here if you want. Once it dries from a distance, no one's really gonna be able to tell that you have a patch on it. As you can see, it's pretty clear, which is kind of awesome. But I really do like keeping my nails polished, and apart from a little bit 
of a texture difference, no one's really gonna be able to tell at all. As far as maintenance goes, I've heard people say they can keep patches like this on for up to a month. I personally have not had that experience. Typically, I have to redo mine every week, week and a half, typically when I change my nail polish. But as you can see, it's not that long of a process. I did cut a little bit out of this video, but I probably spent a grand total of 15 minutes on this, and that's including, you know, setting up my camera and stuff like that. So it definitely is a fast process to do. If you have any questions about anything in this process, please let me know in the comments down below. I want to be here to answer your questions. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more nail art and beauty videos. And of course, have a beautiful day, beauties. I'll see you next time. Bye.